What's going on guys? Welcome to another standard video here on YouTube or Twitch or wherever you may be watching this at. Today we're going to do another deck critique uh, commissioned by uh, RPG Badger, otherwise known as Russell. And he emailed me last night and he was like, hey, I want you to take a look at this deck and try it out. And I was like, okay, let's do that. And this is what he sent over and I got super excited when I saw it because good lord, look at it. It looks amazing. So we have Indomitable Creativity. And this is a card you probably have to read because I did. It's three red and an X. Boy, that's a mythic, isn't it? That's a mythic casting cost right there. Um, destroy X target artifacts and or creatures. I mean, if you gave me a card, I wouldn't mind. Because I actually, I don't like having to borrow cards. Um, and if, if you guys have noticed me, I actually buy all the cards that cost less than like five tickets. Just to have them. Because I don't like relying on, on goat bots. Um, to donate. Like, And also, I don't want to like... Because whenever I borrow cards, that's less cards they have to sell. I don't think they're in any... Any, I don't think they're having any issues running out of cards. But on the same hand, like I don't like to tie up cards for like weeks on end or months on end. Um, and also, the other thing is I do like to have play sets of things just for my own, you know, because I play a lot of Magic in a lot of formats. Anyway, that being said, Indomitable Creativity, 3 red and an X for a sorcery. Destroy X target artifacts and or creatures. So in our deck, we're trying to destroy artifacts, which are either treasures or treasures or clues i guess you can't get clues and estrad has gone i have four karns but they are all borrowed <laughs> all four of my karns are borrowed um for each permanent destroyed this way its controller reveals cards from the top of their library until an artifact or creature is revealed and exiles that card those players put the exiled cards on the battlefield then shuffle their libraries so basically the only creatures you can get in this are zatalpa gashath Registar Alpha, Registar Alpha number two, or Zakama. And that's pretty insane, because Registar Alpha is going to give all of these guys haste. And these guys are huge anyway. Also, Jashath, what does this do again? Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards from the top of your library, usually seven. Put any number of dinosaur creatures from among them onto the battlefield. That's almost irrelevant, just because you just want the big body, right? So basically, we're trying to get treasures, and then hitting at least three hitting at three treasures so we can basically essentially polymorph into three of these guys and it's very similar to the old polymorph decks in standard because you only put a certain number of creatures in that you want to hit so it's more like it's kind of like mass polymorph right for three in fact it's almost exactly mass polymorph for three destroy three creatures reveal three creatures and, it's, and they both cost six right so Excel all creatures you control. So we'll say three for the sake of the casting cost. So six and six. Uh, Excel all creatures, then reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal that many creatures, which would be three. Put all creature cards reveal this one on the battlefield, then shuffle the rest into your library. That's basically the same thing. What up, Denmark? Yep, let me know what I can call you. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think I've asked this before, and I might have missed your answer if you responded. But give me a name that I can call you, because I don't like calling you Denmark, and I know I'm going to mispronounce the, the username. Like I call I call Gunkerdahl uh, Daniel because <laughs> that's his name. So uh, it's just easier for me, obviously. So um, yeah, let me know. But also we're ramping into things. So we have uh, three beneath the sands. De Depths of desire is interesting because you're able to just bounce a creature and get, make a make a treasure, which is pretty sweet. And I remember back in the day I played against a build of this deck that only had Ulamog as a retrieval target with creativity, and I got wrecked, and it was sick. <laughs> When you play against stuff like that, th these are the decks you can't get mad about, right? Destroy X target artifacts and or creatures. You're not casting them, right? No, they just put them onto the battlefield. Uh, so unfortunately, you're not going to be able to untap your lands with this because you're not you're not casting it. Um, this guy still works fine with haste. This guy's obviously fine, and these guys are fine. All right. Sensor is interesting, but it does let you cycle. Uh, same thing with hieroglyph hieroglyphic illumination. Spell Swindle is sweet because it should give you all of its, uh, all of your treasures at the same time. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like the way this deck looks. We also have two Disallows and three Spell Swindles, so we have, uh, and, and three Sensors, so we have a decent amount of Counter Spells. I, uh, I'm excited about this deck. Uh, they also said the Immortal Sun was very, very good. Um, and, uh, we can just, we can swap out the Chandra when we board Immortal Sun in, because obviously you don't want to have a Planeswalker when you have Immortal Sun, so. Yeah. 
Yep, is it yep? Either way. I I can call you Denmark. It could be like it could just be like your nickname. That's pretty cool. See, I mean, like if you just lose to Mono Red where they go like Scrap Heap Scrounger, Heart of Kieran, you're just like, alright, that's cool. I lost. I didn't have fun. But if you lose to like them going indomitable creativity, bulk mythic rare into Woolamog, you're just like Alright, that's impressive. Also, it's funny because it, it fits on the mass polymorph curve. Jester Pooh, thank you so much for the reset. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, buddy. Um, it fits on the mass poly it fits on the polymorph curve because if you do it for one creature like polymorph, it costs four. If you do it for three, it costs six. I say three, but I think I used to have mass. I used to have a mass polymorph deck that hit three guys. It hit Stormtide, Leviathan, Emrakul, and uh, something else. But um, yeah, those are my targets. So I, I I I associate mass polymorph with three a lot. But either way, I'm I'm looking forward to playing this deck. So let's see how it goes. I don't have any play points, and I'm like down to I'm like down to one pack. So we are at the bottom of the barrel in terms of uh in terms of what do you call it? Entry fees for for Magic Online. We are scraping the bottom here. Hmm. Two indomitables. I think this hand is good. We have a removal spell, we have a cycling spell, and then we have these. We do need tokens. Brian, what's going on, buddy? Um, tokens. By tokens, I mean... Uh, we do need... Yeah, tokens. Clues. No, treasures. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, I, If all the creatures are in hand, if you have all five in hand, you're probably just in bad shape. I'm probably just going to kill this. He used the damage part when he should have used the remove, the destroy part, because if they have a plus four, plus four spell, then he would have gotten blown out by the plus four, plus four spell. Who are you? Shut up. God. I'm just going to play this because I really want a hieroglyphic elimination next turn. <clears throat> You have to cast Brass's Bounty at least once. Oh, is that the achievement? Well, it's in hand, so we're close. This is not the deck I really wanted to face off against because it's obviously public enemy number one in standard right now, and it's mm, really not that fun, but whatever. Maybe they're not having fun, but we will. At least you saw the line. Yeah, I just had to make sure. I, I wanted to point it out so no one's like, do you know that you could just destroy target artifact uh, with a braid, correct? And that uh, prevents you from getting blown out by any sort of pump spell for one mana. And I'll be like, hmm, that's a good point. Solid strategy. Random YouTube commenter. Uh, um, I don't think we're doing that. Actually, we're just going to keep it. I, I feel like we want, my, we want Sweltering Suns in this deck. We take six here. That's pretty brutal. I don't think we're going to survive. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Because we take six and then six, and all I have to have is three damage and five cards. I like Sweltering Suns because it does deal with a lot of the red cards. And... It also cycles for the matches you don't need it. Just like that. I think standard's good if you're not playing against the red deck. Otherwise, I think standard's pretty sweet. Wow, can you imagine how good Sweltering Suns would be right here? No, don't cycle. We didn't spend our whole life not cycling just to get to this point. So, one, two, three, four. We can actually do this and then do this next turn. 
bounce this guy. I like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then this would be seven. And then we get five Kluzels. God, do we just, can we survive? I just wanna survive. We could also play Island to keep up Sensor and Desire, but I guess we can do that anyway with the, uh, One, two, three, four, five. We're taking five and going to four here, but then the replayed Chain Whirler kills us. We do get six tokens. Our opponent probably is like, what are you doing, man? I like Hazaret here, because we can bounce the Chain Whirler, and that's actually very good. Ideally, they just don't have a one mana, like, Shock or something. All right, that was pretty good. Probably should have cycled sensor, actually. That would have been better. Seven. We can Brass's Bounty for six. And then do this for four. Ugh. Yeah, we should have kept up mana to cycle the sensor. That would have been better. I mean, we're dead on board, so we have to do something. God, if we had one more clue. I think we just want more to make clues in the early game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We brass his bounty for seven. We create one, two, three, four, five, six clues. What up, King Chicken Wing? All right, so we create six clues. If we target two of them, that leaves us with four lands. And we're literally like one shot. I'm gonna cycle this. I don't think, I think we're dead here. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. It's Reggie. Reggie's blocker, blocker, but then we die to this. Yeah, we're just dead here. All right, we're not going to show them what we have. I'm not going to try the combo because we can just do it next game and feel much better about it. Oh, there's Sweltering Suns on the sideboard. There we go. I like that. Bring in all those dudes. Also, Verdant Suns Avatar is pretty good against this deck, I would imagine. I'm going to bring in you, and I'm going to take out the Zakama, probably, because it's just big, and uh, we can actually cast this at some point, whereas this we can't cast because we don't have white, and also the ability doesn't trigger, so it's not really helping us that much. i got to cut one more thing. Probably just an opt. I don't love it, but I will play first. This hand seems good. Actually, it seems bad because of this guy, but I mean, if we go to six, like we just want a hand without this guy, so it's basically a six. To, and we're already mulligan to six, and I think for a six card hand, this is just fine. Does that make sense to you guys? If we mulligan, we just have a six card hand without this guy. So we might as well just keep him in the hand. I don't know how to get this to go away now. Okay, it just went away on its own, I guess. I never know if it's correct to kill the Bomat Courier. Like, every time I don't kill the Bomat, but the Bomat Courier, it just ends up killing me uh, it, because they draw, like, five cards. And every time I do, I feel bad because they just killed me something else. It's really weird to see Bomat Courier in, the, in these decks still because of the, the amount of... Uh, You know what? I'm going to deal with it this time. Like, they have seven cards in hand. Okay.
You just play Reggie. Uh, I will, yeah, I'll do all formats submitted, definitely. Do we play Reggie here? Actually, I think I just want to keep up Spell Swindle. Spell Swindle seems sick. Especially if they drop like a Hazzy. Now we keep up Spell Swindle and Hieroglyphic Elimination, which seems pretty pretty salty. Saucy? Saucy? Salty? Yep, that's fine. Oh, this is annoying. Take four here? Whatever. I'll take four, actually. I'm not too worried about it. This is if this is a goblin chain whirler. Doomfall. Actually, that's just fine. Give me them treasures. Undomitable creativity off the top one time. It's not it. What are we getting here? Probably a green. I don't think it matters terribly, but we have triple blue and infinite black, so. <laughs> Frank's getting salty again. Oh god, sorry guys. I didn't mean to didn't mean to overreact there. One, two, three, four. I don't know what to do here. I do. We're just gonna pass. We can take four. Not a big deal. Glory bringer. Well, that's pretty good. That would have been a better spell swindle target, just to be clear. We're actually going to draw here and see what happens. Because this may affect our decision. A second, a braid. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Draw then alpha next turn? That doesn't do anything. I don't want to abrade because then we lose our treasures. And if there is... Four, five, six... We'll take eight here. We'll go to six. And if there is a indomitable creativity on the top... I think we're good. We can do it for three, gain a bunch of life. Come on, one time. Just let us... We, we deserve it. One time. That's not it. <laughs> it's still, it could still be there. It could still be there. Oh, we did it, boys! One, two, three. Wait, do we not have enough mana? We can only do it for... We can only do it for one. We can do it for two. Alright, we can do it for two. So close. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, Jashath hitting here means we could actually hit a, a life gain boy. Alright, that's not bad. That's not bad. Just play the big white dino. Yeah, why not? What problem is? Our opponent's probably reading Indomitable Creativity right now. What does that do again? I don't know. We didn't hit, so we're dead. Well, that's unfortunate. We had a cool run. This guy have... None of these guys have have reach, right? Just the uh, this guy and the other guy. Yeah, well, that's sad. I mean, we have one, two, 
three for four dinosaurs. Literally the one dinosaur we didn't hit is the Sun Verdant Sun's avatar. So that's cool. And the the other dinosaur, there are two dinosaurs in our deck that could have actually profitably dealt with the Glorybringer that's on board. One of them is the one that's in hand. The other is the one dinosaur we didn't hit. So, you know, luck's cool. And we had another seven cards to see. Or maybe one was in there. But, no bueno. Alright, we're going to scoop here. Because we're done on board. Either way, uh, I think that game went pretty well. All things considered. So, I like the dissolve. Do we have any way to shuffle things back in our deck? I wish, like for decks like this, Sea Beyond was a was a really good card. For those that don't know, Sea Beyond says, draw two cards and shuffle a card from your hand in your library, and then you can be like, oh, I'll just because it not only digs you closer to your combo pieces, it also puts cards back into your deck. Obviously, I almost rather have uh, another Depths than the Supreme Will. The one Supreme Will seems pretty random. And I do like the, the, the... I think ramping to 5 is pretty good because it gets you onto your spell swindle, spell swindle mana. I agree. We need more treasure tokens. I don't like the sensor either. Like, let's look up treasure and see what our options are. I think this deck is... I mean, we have to avoid creatures is the problem. So I was like, ooh, you know, Wily Goblin's pretty good. But then, like, you don't want to hit a Wily Goblin off of your Indomitable Creativity. So that's actually not very creative. Same thing with Sailor. Uh, treasure map. I don't think I don't. I don't like treasure map just because you're never going to, you're never going to flip it. Like it, it's maybe you'll flip it, but I mean like the odds of flipping it just seems very low. It's also an artifact. Um, so you could hit a treasure map off of Indomitable Creativity, which you don't want to do. Yeah, you don't want artifacts or lands or or creatures rather. I do like another Depths, which is weird. I didn't think I'd say that, but. Remember, one or more creatures you control deal combat damage. That's not going to happen because, because no. Nope, nope, nope. Treasure Cruise. There are significantly less cards that make treasures than I thought there were. That's interesting. Trove of Temptation. That's a, that's a little slow. Draw two cards, create a colorless treasure token. That's not bad, but four mana. Actually, is this better than Hieroglyphic Temptation? Elimination? Both are drawing two cards. It's sorcery speed, but... I don't know if we care. Actually, Pirate's Pillage makes two tokens. That's a good point, Admiral. Admirable. Oh, God, I can never get it. I'll never get it right. And I've known you for ages. Yeah, maybe... I actually like Pirate's Pillage better than Illumination. They're doing the same thing in this deck. This gets to cycle, but I don't really care about the cycling. I'd rather just have... Plus, it lets you discard. Like, if you have one of these guys in your hand, you can just discard it. It's totally fine. That's a good addition. Two treasure, two tokens is real good there. I'm a fan. I almost want another Brass's Bounty over a, over a sensor. Because if we're playing this on four, it lets us play this on six. Or on five, rather. Which is pretty good. Isn't there a, a like a... Meh, maybe not. Brainstorm does seem pretty good in this deck. You could just put this guy right on back. Chris, that's a good idea. I don't know why they didn't think of that. I wonder if Hornswoggle is better than Disallow. I wonder if you just want to maximize all of these treasure cards. Hornswoggle is counter target creature spell. It's an essence scatter that makes a token, so it costs one more. There's nothing that puts stuff back in the deck. I just don't think there's anything in standard that even does that. That it's been a while since that effect was like was printed. I almost like Hornswoggle better than Disallow. Disallow is cool and all, but 
I'm going to take out the, the depths and the horn swag on the sideboard, and I'll just add two disallows, because if you really need them. But, I mean, once you, what you want to do is survive, and I think uh, having horn swoggles in the deck helps you do that, so. Um, actually, I like this. I think these are good changes so far. I don't even know if I like Beneath the Sands. I'd rather just have more of these. Or if we're playing Beneath the Sands, I'm going to add another Brass's Bounty. It's 7, but it's it seems relevant, so. What's the record for this deck? We're 01, but we did cool stuff, so. I'm okay with it. Alright, let's see what happens here. I have to assume at some point we'll we'll get some play points, but. Three U three two? What is that? What are you saying right now? I mean you don't want creatures in the deck because then you're gonna hit them off of indomitable creativity. But I'm still not sure what you're referring to. This guy? No. A blue guy. I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. We are 1-0 in the cool stuff bracket. That is correct. I hate that these matches don't close themselves. Like, I always have to manually close every single... Like, if you play 10 matches in a row, they're all going to be in your taskbar. Just sitting there. Oh, I think the three blue guy you're talking about is a 2-2. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, the guy, the Brainstorm Merfolk. The brain folk, if you will. I'll keep this just because Beneath the Sands gets us a blue, and any other blue means we can play Spell Swindle on five. Or on four, rather. All right. Let's look at Struggle to Survive. Struggle says steals damage equal to target creature on the lands you control. Each player shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her land. That could be actually. Oh, that was a great draw. So I guess we're just going thicket. Make sure everything's on. On point. Actually, beneath the sands into spell swindle is pretty good. But of course they're playing blue white control. So basically we're just playing in the two man cues against the uh the, the most tier one decks of the format. So that's cool. I like Struggle to Survive a lot, actually, because it lets you discard... Uh, well, no, it doesn't let you discard, but it lets you play... Um, it gets your guys back, and it also... It is removal. This doesn't seem very scary. And you have one blue, so... Going to negate this? Negate it beneath the sands? I'd be very curious if that was your play. Okay. There's no reason to have the dino ramp in there? What's the dino ramp? Oh, actually, maybe. That could be good. If you're referring to the Thunderherd migration, because then, like, at worst, it's just a beneath the sands, and at best, it's a two mana ramp spell instead of a three mana, if that's what you're referring to. Uh, sure. <laughs> Weird choice, but okay. Oh, the old one blue. Seems pretty good. So we're going to assume you have syncopate? Hmm, that's cool. I'm just going to keep up Slindle. And if you play... Oh, please play Glimmer here. That'd be cool. I'm a big fan of you playing Glimmer here. No Glimmer? Dang. Yep. Just playing the old pass game. I wonder YouTube regulars and I had this thought about remarkable bad luck at drafts. I can't remember you ever introing a video with welcome back to another Dominator draft. You always call it Modern Masters or worse. Maybe you're like jinxing yourself with a lack of respect for the set. I mean, well, it's not a lack of respect for the set to be fair. I respect the set quite a bit. Um, but I can see what you're saying. I get your point, and that's actually a pretty funny, uh, a pretty funny thing to, to mention. Maybe it's mad at you for not ever calling it by its real name. 
How do you open your snipping tool so fast? Is there a window short? Um, I have it on my taskbar, so I can just click it, and there it is. I got that snip tool. I'm gonna spell swindle this, and they're gonna they're gonna syncopate it, which is fine. And then we're gonna have another spell swindle, so whatever. Uh, we should have one forest left in our deck. Yep, you got it. Nope. Oh, I guess we are out of basics. That is unfortunate. I thought we had one force left. This there is four basics is not a lot. How many? Uh, oh, well, that's that's a pretty bad draw. How many? Um, we actually can cast this guy with treasure tokens. That's interesting. Um. Well, you were expecting a window shortcut. I don't know if me putting on the taskbar is anti less less climactic than uh than actually just having a window shortcut. I feel like that's more, you're like, oh, that's so clever. I would, I did, never considered that. Sure. Um, yeah, I don't know how many, how many Evolving Wilds are in the deck. That's my question. I'm not a big Evolving Wilds fan, I'll be honest with you. It's only two, but there's only four basics too. So if you hit like three, oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow, that was nice. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, huh? One, two. So, how many dinosaurs do we have in our deck? Three? We have three total, right? One, two, three, four, five. We have five, so we can do it for three. So, that's six and three treasures is what we're going to take up. So, one, two, three... Two, three, four, five, six. Which leaves us with four. That's unfortunate. One thing we can do is play Registrar Alpha, target one of the dinosaurs instead, right? One, two, three, four, five. Registrar Alpha. And then we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Target token, token, and small dinosaur. And then attack for a lot. I think that works. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, let's do that. All right. One, two, three... Four, five, six. One, two, three. And then the other Registrar Alpha will give... The, the Registrar Alphas will give each other haste. And this should be lethal. Oh, boy. <laughs> Dinosaurs coming in. That was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. Saw the line. Wow, that was pretty pretty gas. All right, so we're taking out Hornswoggle for this matchup. We're gonna bring in Disallow. Clippable moments right there, ladies and gentlemen. This is that we're having a good time, having a good time. All right. That was spicy. I agree with you, Mister Rogers. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Uh, we can take out a Braid. We can bring in Immortal Sun. Is Naturalize good? They do have cast outs. I think a Braid's probably pretty terrible. I imagine they have Torrential Gear Hulk. Maybe I'll just leave two in. Wow, I love that they just went like, yeah, I'm going to approach into your five mana up, five blue mana. And I was like, all right. You can't have blue cards in your dinosaur commander deck. Naturalize is actually just better than a braid here, right? Because it kills Torrential Gearhawks and Cast Out. It also kills Search for Azconta, too. Mm -hmm. 
This art is very satisfying. This is very Jurassic Park 1994, and it makes me really happy inside. I almost like Creeping Mole. I'll just kill one of your things. Depth seems pretty bad, actually, unfortunately. So we'll take all the depths. They don't have creatures, so meh. That makes it rough to get tokens, but... So we'll bring in one more naturalized. We'll just bring in another, another dinosaur idiot. Uh, I don't want to take out Sensor because we don't have nearly enough things to bring in, and Sensor's always just fine against this deck. If they go to Glimmer at the end of the turn and we get the Sensor, it's totally fine. Just because we're on the... I mean, like, this isn't an aggressive deck. Being on the draw doesn't matter. Like, that's just a that's just a soundbite. You take out Sensor on the draw. It's not true against Control decks because they don't play on Curve. It's not like they play... They, they're going to play a 2-drop under your Sensor. They're going to play a 4-drop Glimmer. They're going to play a 6-drop Torrential Gear Hulk, and it doesn't matter that you're on the draw. Wow, I thought I, was, I thought they were waiting for me to submit. I was like, well, all right, I'll submit now so they can stop waiting. Also, guys, we got more raisins. I don't know if that's exciting to you or not. Someone was, like, trying to give me constructive criticism, but it was really, like, it was, like, shitty constructive criticism on YouTube. And then at the end, they're like, oh, also, by the way, P.S., the chewing and slurping is disgusting. And I was like, okay, buddy. Appreciate your input. So apologies if you guys uh, are not fond of me eating some raisins every now and then on the stream, but raisins are greater than soft pretzels. Um, I think they're, I think they're very, very positive. They're both, they're both positive in their, in their salty and sweet brackets. We'll go sulfur falls first. Cause we can cycle this. <laughs> Basic land. Ooh, I don't like it. But this is actually fine. See, the thing is, they don't do anything. So they're not going to have a three drop unless they play like History of Banalia. They just go aggressive on us, which is kind of funny. I'm not fond of eating raisins on stream. It has nothing to do with the eating. Wow, that's messed up, dude. Case, is that a Japanese thing? No, no raisins? It might just be a cultural difference. Got a discard, huh? Um. Our hand's actually very good if we can just hit lands. Pretzels can be dipped in lots of things. Raisins, only chocolate, and you go, well, I, I don't know if that's really... If we discard one of these, I don't really want to uh, show that to them. We didn't cycle sensor because I'm pretty sure they're just going to be super valuable. I'll just discard this. You already know I have it. and Oh, we could have done it there, yes, but I mean... I don't know. I get the feeling these are going to be good. See? Look how good we are at this game. Oh. Just going to counter this. We need to get cards out of our hand anyway, so. I don't like one negate in the sideboard just because I always want more negates. I'm even going to back up a little just so uh, the raisin eating isn't too apparent. Wow, that's aggressive. Every land is coming to play on tap this game. That is sad. Eat raisins more? What does that even mean? I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Wait, why didn't we censor that? <laughs> I couldn't tell if you were being serious there. I was like, wait, for real? <sighs> this is 11 damage on board. It's pretty good. Let's do one of these jobbies. 
discard a sensor now. Play you. And we'll try not to die next turn. Maybe they'll tap out for something stupid. They're probably not going to tap out for anything stupid. Yeah, it's hard because, like, you're, you're not only are you streaming, you're not only are you streaming for a while, right? You're streaming for four, five, six hours at a time, right? But the problem is you're talking the entire time and you're thinking the entire time. What are the odds they don't have a counter spell here? It's got to be low, right? One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Huh? I'll play a Torrential Gear Hulk. My aunt bought chicken salad, brought chicken salad that had raisins in it instead of family reunion. Oh, I would never. That's, that's not okay. Any kind of salads, uh, any kind of savory salad, like a potato salad, a chicken. Why would you take so long? A potato salad, a chicken salad, uh, a, a, a pasta salad, macaroni salad, whatever. Um, none of those need fruit or raisins in them. I'm pretty strong on this. I'm pretty firm. Um, actually, sweltering could be better than one naturalized and one creeping old. Just in case. I mean, at worst, it cycles. Chicken salad with apples is great. That's, uh, that's an opinion. Certainly. That is certainly an opinion to have. I understand. Aren't you from New York? Hello, older. I'm not from New York. I'm from Florida. <laughs> I have no idea why you think I was from New York. We dry and or pickle like literally everything, even we never went as far as... They're just grapes, though. Grapes are delicious. I asked a question, lost an internet connection for a short time, I'll never know. What, what was your question, Recif? I already deleted the comment. I don't delete comments that are that are, that are actually constructive and, like, um, you know, polite, right? Like, someone said, hey, man, I've noticed you've been getting a little salty in your videos. It's rough. Sometimes it's harder to watch just because of that. And I was like, you know what? That's a good point. I, I appreciate your feedback. Um, thank you for letting me know. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. And, I, you know, that's the comment I left. But if you're just like, um, you're not even that good at magic. Why are you getting so upset when you lose? Like, I was just like... Nah, I'm just going to delete this because it adds no value to this video whatsoever. And I'm glad you wasted your time. Wow, this hand was terrible. Uh, this hand's still not good. I don't know what to do here. Really, this is, this is like a mult of four. So I guess we mult of five... Oh god, why do you keep like we have only have five of these in the deck? That's basically a free land. Salted raisins? Oh my god. This stream chat always turns into food chat real fast. How many blue white Tefri control and black red aggro might I got to play against in queues and friendly leagues? A lot. A good amount. Watch, we're going to draw a counter spell so that it's... Oh, that's actually the perfect draw. I also don't like that we don't have three mountains, so we can't actually search for all of them, but... Or two mountains, rather. We only have one mountain in the deck, so like there could be a situation where we're not able to actually search for. All right, that was good. That was a good draw. Discard you. So that's actually great. Not gonna lie, I turn on the stream while I'm eating lunch. Got a meatloaf plate at local diner, like two pounds of meatloaf, sides of bread for seven. That's actually pretty good. That's a pretty good deal. I don't eat like you, you guys may know. 
I don't need a lot of meat, but I, I know a good deal when I can when I see one. Uh, yeah, I'll do this. I'll, I'll pay two blue for it as well. I don't know if that... Give me them four manas. I don't think we're actually going to waste an opt here. There's no real reason for it. We'll opt on our upkeep. That's just a filter. Land. Oh, pillage, eh? Huh. I think we're at a point where we have enough treasures, right? Unfortunately, this is a cost, though. So, I'm actually going to pass here. I don't want to discard something that's valuable. Especially because they have four cards in hand. I feel like GP Vegas is a little too close for me to just go to right now, unfortunately. Like, it's only like a week and a half away. I was definitely considering going to GP Vegas. I mean, it was definitely on my go-to-this radar. Let's see what we can get here. Naturalize. I'm going to let this jobby resolve, and I'll just naturalize your search. If you click on a spell and then you click the the adequate an adequate number of lands to cast it, they should just let you cast it, right? Like I, I shouldn't have to actually specify that I'm using this one for red, this one for green, this one for blue. If I go to cast uh, like a teamer charm, and I click a hinterland harbor, a rootbound crag, and a mountain, like it should just know that I'm using those lands for this, right? That's my that's my thought. Isn't hold W just it goes to the first one, the top one? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. We have a lot of treasures. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you hold W, like, like so, for example. Yeah, you can have that. Yeah, it auto-taps for first in line. So if I click this, it's always going to add green. If I click this, it's always going to add red. I actually don't have any lands right now that would auto-tap for, for blue, right? That's correct, but I mean, like, I'm just saying, if I'm tapping, if I'm playing Spell Swindle and I click this, 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 and this, um, you shouldn't ask me for which one unless at the end of adding five mana, I didn't add enough. You know what I mean? I mean, that's a that's a that's a, that's a minor uh, grievance. It's not really a big deal. How could that lead to issues if you're using filter lands? Like, explain that to me. Because if you click the filter land, you're using it for mana for that. If you don't click the filter land, then it's not included in the equation. The only time it's included in the equation is that if you're using it for that spell. If you want to use it beforehand to add, like, if you want to add two blue and only use one of the blue. Like, if I click a spell... Here's the, here's what I'm saying. I think you're I think you're confusing this because there's no it doesn't seem like there's any room for. If I click this and it says pay six pay, pay seven, the next seven lands I click while this is the the command should all pay for this basically. One two three four five six. This guy costs eight. Five six eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen. One two three four five six. We have 14 mana. We do have Jashath and Swindle back up. And if we can even pay for a Syncopate for one if that was one of their things. One, two, three. 
This guy. My huckleberry friend. Is MTGA still going on? I believe it is. Who knows? What? You resolved? Boy, oh boy, huh? -huh. Well, that's exciting. What does it say? Whenever it deals damage to a player? Yeah, I'm just going to go to your face here. Pay costs. Blink. God, I wish this cost four instead of three. That seemed real greedy for them. I'll play this guy. <laughs> Seems good. Hello! Actually... Alright, we can't we can't actually kill Gideon here, unfortunately. Hater's gonna hate, and Frank's gonna be Frank. I love your content, slurping, raisin eating, and all. Don't ever change, because you are amazing. <laughs> thank you so much, man. Tricky Lick, thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it wasn't untapping our mana at any point. That was never happening, but um, I was hoping we could shoot Gideon with it because of the ability, but negatory. I guess we just play Reggie here. They have three cards. I have to assume you didn't have a counterspell, otherwise Jashath just kind of begs for a counterspell, right? Boom, 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 boom. Well, I would hope this is standard. Because if this is either modern or limited, we are in trouble. I don't... I have a feeling they don't have a settle. I don't know if they would have kept settle in here. Attack your face, attack Gideon of the Trials. Maybe they kept settle in? I don't know. That, that was definitely the man that was definitely the two and a half men song the three men and a baby song this is a tame round of vintage you are not wrong they only have three cards in hand that's not a tremendous amount of cards it's also turn one two three four five six seven eight it was their turn eight so they've they hit a land drop every turn so it is possible they still have lands uh, I'm going to first with GP this summer. Is there anything I can do? What What is the GP? Torrential Gear Hulk. Sure. Blink of an eye, bounce to Shath. Glimmer of Genius. Interesting. Well, I'm going to try to... GP Orlando? Oh, sweet, buddy. What is the format for GP Orlando? I actually don't know. I, anyway, my advice is to uh, find a deck you like in Standard or, or Modern or whatever the format is. Uh, get used to playing it. And make sure you're familiar with it. And so, like, even if I think, I think even if you just don't pick up a deck, like, a couple days before the event and play a few games with it, if you really want to be do well, like, make sure you're you're prepared and you have a bunch of iterations with the deck in. 
Are we actually doing really well in this game? Actually, they're playing the... They played Approach. They're playing the Approach version of the deck, so that's interesting. They could cast Fumigate. I don't think they have Fumigate when they board in Regal Caracal. That's kind of contradictory to the Regal Caracal lifestyle. I'd just rather have two cards at this point than a random Brass's Bounty in my hand. We have a lot of counter spells we could draw here, so. And if they would like to use one of them, knock yourself out. Oh, uh, Brian, unfortunately, I already have plans for the core 1929 between Pirelius Weekend. That's also the weekend Ant-Man comes out, I believe. We did discard Brass's Bounty, but we already cast it once. Alright, sure, negate. Seems good. Can... Three, four, five, they have seven. So they can just put all in front of this guy. How does that how does that affect us? Just a question. Alright, well, here we go. Hmm. When you meet a mono red deck, what do you think to do with this deck? I'm just playing a nominal creativity deck in the two-man queues, buddy. Just trying to have some fun. Just take it easy. ND Irish JT, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Cell Time Brood. Uh, Primal Calamity can still shoot things, but it's not going to do anything. Unfortunately. Because it's not combat damage. We can do it during our upkeep. I don't really want to lose you to, like, triple block here. I do like shooting this guy. I can't kill the Cat Lord right now, though. It prevents all damage that would be dealt by it. If they triple block here, this guy doesn't have lifelink, right? So they gain four, they go to ten, and then they take five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's interesting attacks here. Like it's so funny people being like, What do you what do you do against the mono red deck with this deck you're playing? I'm like, I I don't I don't care. It's like they've lost all perspective to actually see magic as a fun game. I don't understand it. <sighs> this cat really... They go to one, but... They kill just Shath. So they gain seven, they go to ten, they take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They actually go to negative one. Let's go to your face here. Not <laughs> sure. Why not? I'm just going to go to the face because as soon as we can get rid of this Gideon somehow, then that's cool too.
This is just going to send a message. I guess, yeah, I'm like, I guess I lose the game. And then I move on to the next two-man queue. Uh, this is a commission by RPG Badger. So the answer is yes. Oh, you're just going to let me hit this and get this Zatalpa? That's pretty good. Um, I'm going to actually not put this guy on the battlefield because... Like, I don't want to overextend, right? They're already dead. I wish this wasn't to target creature. That'd be great, but... Yeah, remember when we were, we were trying to play the Atali in every single cube draft ever? That was pretty sweet. It is free, but if they do have Fumigate or Settle or something... Like, we have no cards in hand. We're not trying to, like, pretend we have something here. Disallow. Sure. <laughs> that's... That's pretty good. Aren't you still dead? Like, you have to have one card. Can't cast that here. Alright, we're just gonna alpha here and try to kill Gideon. Because you can only gain four. We're gonna keep you back because... Um reasons and all of these creatures are lethal against Gideon so let's see what you have I guess they have to have settle in their hand and they could have had settle last turn and they didn't settle last turn so unless they literally top deck settle this turn um good luck against the mono red deck you can't even be you can't even beat the indomitable creativity deck what do you do against the red deck buddy got him is there a Hornswoggle for spells? Because I'll just put that in the sideboard instead. Sometimes you need a post a post win raisin, if you know what I mean. I mean, they said just a question, right? So they could have actually meant it honestly. But it's funny that you you look at games in that kind of in that kind of with that with that lens over it, where you're like, hey. I don't understand what this guy would ever do against this one deck in the metagame. Why would he play this deck if he can't beat this other deck? And I'm like, you don't really have any grasp of, like, why different people play magic, do you? It's very weird to me. <clears throat> Arborback isn't a dinosaur, though. That's my only problem with that. I do kind of like it, though. Actually, we could hit it with... That's actually not terrible, actually. I kind of like that. It might be better than Verdant Sun's Avatar. I like it better than Creeping Mold, for sure. I'll put one Arborback Stomper in there. Um, So one of the other things, I almost... I almost like a, a split of Pirate's Pillage and Pirate's Prize. Because this is actually a really bad top deck. If you have no cards and you top deck this... It's not great. I almost like like to struggle to survive over a braid. It's also decent against the Isn't this decent against the um I'm gonna take one a braid out. You're actually a three mana spell. And I'll take one beneath the sands out. I don't actually care about beneath the sands. Especially because we have five spells that give us clues now. I like that a lot. Whoa, Mr. Rogers, thank you so much for the for the donation. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the support, buddy. Wow, that is awesome, dude. That is good times. We're having good, indomitable creativity times. So, I think I like one Pirate's Prize in here because it's just a better... I like Pillage because it lets you discard these guys, and then now that we have Struggle to Survive, we can shuffle them back in. So, Frank, I'm just wondering, <laughs> where's Demon Lord Bells and Lock in this deck? Actually... Oh god, case.
for me, magic is fun, just like alcohol is fun for an alcoholic. It started out as fun, but now I have to do it just to get back to neutral. Oh, boy. Oh, God. That Demon Lord Belzenlock comment. I think you broke my brain. The problem is it doesn't get haste, but boy, do I care about that. It draws. It could draw us, like... What's the percentage of cards in our deck that are... This is... Unfortunately, this only costs three, but this costs five, right? So 17 out of... 17 would 17 hits, 20 whiffs on, on four or more casting cost. Hmm... Demon Lord Belzenlock does have a bad matchup against Mono Black Coffee. That is... I almost want another island in the deck. It felt like we were having a hard time getting blue, man. Oh, oh! Hold on, guys. Hold on. We have a Sulphur Falls emergency. Uh, one, two, three. I like these small text Sulphur Falls. No, just kidding. I just want them all to match. I want all the Instrad ones. I do like Multani a lot, actually. Oh my god. I think this deck has more potential than just dinosaurs. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe two and a half cards. Two and a half cards. Cards, 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 card, card, cards, cards, cards. Card. Alright, um... There was actually a black, a black green deck, I believe... Um, one sad, not 50 bucks. <laughs> Kermit, I imagine the donations, uh, the, the buck donations you've given over time have definitely accumulated to 50 at some point, so. I do like Nezahal a lot. Oh, the sky's the limit with this deck, isn't it? I want to put one Nezahal in the deck. Also, with Spell Swindle and these, I don't actually think this is necessary. I think you play, like, Spell Swindle into Brass's Bounty, and I'd rather just have Spell Swindles over Brass's Bounties. Plus, with these, it's also good, too. And these. I think these are... are I think Pirate's Pillage for the two clues. Having all of these at three is good. And then having Spell Swindle is also good. I think this is where we need to be. Do I actually... Is Mult I don't like Multani just because you can end up going off with, like, three or four lands. And then he's just super small. I do like one Demon Lord, though. Also, Nezahal gets uh, gets haste. Wait, hold on. What if we did one? Of, what if we did one of these jobbies for old times' sake? I don't have any Italis. <laughs> well, that's sad. That's sad. I do like a bells and lock, like a good deal. Hmm. This is gonna be the. Di we can't actually cast this guy, but I guess we can't cast the Talpa either. So, if we have clues. What's Tishana? I actually don't have a Tishana, so I'm going to have to, like, go to zero. Also, I really love the crowdsourcing of, of these deck critiques. Uh, each one of them cards in your hand. I don't like that. No, I don't like that because a lot of times you don't actually have that many cards in your hand. Unfortunately. And draw a card for each creature you control. That doesn't seem good because we're not going to be... We don't actually have that many creatures. Like, we're going to have, like, two creatures. Um, I don't like Tetsamok because that doesn't make any sense. Because we're not going to have Black Mana to actually put Prey Counters on things. So he's just going to come into play. I'm just going to look up Dinosaur. And we're going to go to Rare Mythic because that's the ones we care about. Mythic and Rare. Alright, this is an obnoxious way to look at things, unfortunately. I kind of like one Atali. Is that just wrong? I don't hate Locust God, actually. That's not terrible. It's also easy to cast here. Hmm. Real Talk Fantasy Dreamers have played a very similar version of this deck. Spell Swindle and all. No dinos, though. Uh, okay. You're saying Real Talk, so I'm going to actually click this. And our trust. Okay. Okay. Our trust just diminished some today. 
I, uh, you can't say real talk and then, and then troll. You can't do that because that's literally, you're, 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 you're taking, you're exploiting the trust we have. That's what you're doing. I just want that to be clear. Uh, Wayward Sword Talk is, uh, Wayward Sword, Wayward Sword Talk, Wayward Sword, Wayward Sword Talk is interesting, but I don't think we're ever going to have 10 lands or the city's blessing. So that's my only concern there. Uh, Awakening Sun's avatar would never trigger because it's only when you cast it from your hand. Uh, and we're never doing that. So. Uh, we have one Planeswalker. So. I think this, I think this looks sweet. I think Galta costs two a lot of the times so you're able to draw them. That's fair. That's a fair point. <laughs> oh my god. Treasures do count to ascend. That's a good point. Uh, Sunbird's invocation is not great because we don't have a lot of spells that we're casting. You guys are you guys are confusing things that that you need to cast, right? Like Sunbird's invocation, we're not casting any of these expensive spells. We're only casting like four and five mana spells, which a lot of them are are responsive responsive counter spells and stuff, and that's not just not doing what we want. I like the way this looks right now. Let's try it again because I just want to play the deck and see how we're. Let's just jam every card that costs more than five into this deck. Yeah, all right. And that's the other thing. Like, you don't want to. You don't want to. Um, you eventually, you get to a point where you just draw all of your. We might actually have to add another land too, because we're only at twenty three lands. I'm gonna keep this hand because of the opt. You get to a point where you just end up having too many of the big things, and you end up just drawing them. So, like that. See, this hand is rough. Immortal Sun comes in for free off the red sorcery thing? What is that? Oh, because of, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's true, but... I mean, so do all our dinosaurs that win us the game. Wow, you can go to the bottom right now. Okay, well, I don't mind having you, but... This is a treasure hand if I ever saw one. One land, and I think we're good, because we get to go any one of these two. Remember, you guys remember that time Elk Tears broke my trust forever? Spoiler alert, it was today. Oh, we did it. Draw two off Silvergill Adip is pretty good. So you can play Nabin, and then with Snapcaster Mage, you get two triggers. That's gas. Are you going to really play another Silver Girl Adept? I'm going to Horn Swoggle it. What happens if you slurp too many raisins? Uh, I get subscribers on YouTube leave, and I probably get uh, really regular, a lot of regularity. Water Trapper Weaver. Oh man, we're doing very well for ourselves right now. Did you bounce this guy? I think I want to make sure I hit land drops. And we definitely hit land drops. Next turn we can creativity for one. Or we can just play Regisar and then creativity for two next turn hitting the dinosaur. Oh, I like this tapping out they just did there. I think. Hey, it's your boy. Oh, that just came into play tapped. I didn't realize I didn't have it. Yeah, I think this deck needs more basics. I mean, we do have, like, the infinite uh, sheltering, sheltered thicket and the other one, but I think we just died here. I mean, we can play Registar Alpha and go block, block, but then we take six still, so. And we can't actually, we don't have the triple red for this, so. 
Five renewed trust bucks. Sorry, stream. Honesty stream. Clean breaks. <laughs> oh, I love you. I got excited, though. I was like, oh, sweet. He's actually not going to troll me with a two, two, two men and a baby uh, theme song. So I'm going to click on this link out of trust. Which... <laughs> Mr. Rogers, I will 100% be your neighbor. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. That is amazing. We're having a good time. This is a this is an honest uh, an honest Howie Mr. Rogers stream. I'm I'm appreciating all of it. Sweltering suns definitely come in. I don't like the beneath the sands. I just I'd rather have a, another land than a than a beneath the sands. Where's the Karn? Huh. Doesn't Karn fit perfectly because he just makes targets for our for our indomitable creativity? Huh. Well, I'll be a biscuit. We're gonna take the sensors out now. Because I think they're I think they're also not good. They're very niche and they don't actually do anything for our deck. Oh my god. Karns and sensors and Okay. This is a this has been a productive uh, critique so far. I feel I'm a fan of what's happening. I feel like when in doubt, you can just take an opt out. When in doubt, take an opt out. That's what I always say. Let's take out green and white. Yeah, let's take out two of the primary colors of the dinosaur deck. Well, I guess white's not a primary color, but you get it. You get what I'm saying. Not admirable. This larger than five dollar amount is to undo. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Wow, elk tears. Admirable just wrecked your trust. That's really unfortunate. I'm gonna play first. Ah, oh, I don't hate it, but I really don't like it. This is also like let's ignore these guys. It's basically a mold of five. So I'll go to six. This is a good six. Solid six. Hey, Frank, me again. Heard a bit of your first response to GP advice. I was wondering if I just bring the best deck in the... I... I think there's a best deck depending on who you are as a player, right? Like, I think a, a control deck, a blue-white control deck, is better in Brad Nelson's hands than a, a mono-red aggro deck, right? So, I mean, the the best deck is relative to, who, to the pilot, I, I think. Do we crack this and just keep the island to make sure we have four lands? We don't have a turn two drop, so I think that's actually fine. What is my Discord server? I don't know how to, I don't know how to answer that question. I know that if you connect your Twitch uh, account and you, it should invite you to the Discord server. So, can I bring food into the in this combo? Went to an Olive Garden the other day, and they have pasta nacho. Oh God. Why would you go to an Olive Garden? That is not advisable. You live in a state that has uh, a significant amount of Italian restaurants that are that are choice. But again, I don't. I, I guess maybe not in your location. Actually, Pirates Pillage and Jashath is actually a pretty good. That's a combo right there. I mean, their breadsticks are fine. No. Oh, there's definitely something wrong with Olive Garden. Definitely something not okay with Olive Garden. Do we just Pirates Pillage here, or do we keep up Spell Swindle? I think this is a... I think we're going to Pirates Pillage here. Because we can do cooler things. This is one of our better dinosaurs, unfortunately. And we get to keep up Depths of Desire. I was meeting someone on a legal case, and that's where... Okay, that's fair. 
that is a completely reasonable response. Uh, I wish I had Spell Swindle for that, but I guess we're fine. All right, one time indomitable creativity for two. Okay, didn't do it. One, two, three, four. Pillage the pirates. Oh my god, stop drawing these idiots. So we can actually play Spell Swindle here if we have to. I think we're going to do that. So if they play something else... Make your own lasagna. That's an interesting concept because a lot of times recipes like that are crafted specifically in such a way that the flavor profiles match and you're making a, a, a an entree, right? You're making a meal that goes well together. So when you leave something like that in the hands of a customer who actually has no uh, culinary experience, it's very awkward because they just like, give me French fries and meatloaf and cheddar cheese lasagna. And you're just like, what? Why? What do you... What? Actually, we're going to cast this from our hand and untap all our lands. Are you ready for this? That's amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. We get one, one left, but I don't know if the blue decks are going to really have a way to deal with this guy. And we can kill this too. If you, if I give you, if I just give you monies, then other people give you monies, which in turn gives you <laughs> all the monies. This does sound like a legitimate plan. I, uh, I, I don't see any flaws with your argument, Mister Rogers. I, uh, it's, it seems like you have a foolproof plan going on here. So we just cast the one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna play this. We're gonna cast this fat bad boy. Don't call him fat. He's big boned. One, two, three. All the clues. And then we can actually activate both abilities to kill both of these things. That seems good. One, two, three. Destroy this. And shoot your friend. Wow, that sounds real violent when you say it like that. Alright, your move. Deal with my nine nine. What's the bounce wizard? I don't care about that idiot. <laughs> Academy journey mage? Mr. Rogers, that's not true, and this is proof. <laughs> Admirable. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. I appreciate that proof. That donation proof. Alright, I guess I'll just shoot this thing, too. I don't know, man. I feel like we're in good shape. Mr. Rogers Pyramid Scheme. <laughs> this is a good stream. I'm a fan of what's happening right now, just so you guys know. What is this? A little cutie? Stop tapping down my things. It turns out Zakama's ability is very strong against uh, every single card in their deck. So. Merfolk again. <laughs> what is the end game here? I'll get you next time, Gadget. But you won't. Oh, God. What are you doing in response? Exile, then return those to the battlefield under their owner's control. Okay. I'm super confused at what's happening right now. Although I am seeing more of your deck. This is an interesting inclusion. Oh, hey, look at that. That's pretty good. We can depth the depths and then indomital for three? Eventually? I forgot to comment on the YouTube video where people are talking about compost for 30 minutes. I was very confused how that prevents fruit flies. I was also confused, actually. I was like, but if you're composting it, 
Isn't that going to create more fruit flies? I was like, I don't know if that works the way you think it works, but... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are one shy, but I guess we can return this guy your hand. That guy went on a little a little Academy Journey Mage himself, if you know what I mean. Is this a Saffron build? I, I don't know. It was just submitted to me by someone. Um, they did not claim that it was. So. I mean, I, I imagine Saffron probably did play with Indomitable Creativity because that's right up his alley, but... I... I Oh, the deck they're playing. The wizard deck. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Man, it's just not even wanting to guess your age for them to guess with donations. That's actually, I mean... I'm going to actually update the title because... Standard Dinosaurs. And Dominary. Because people keep saying that. And I, I'd actually... We're probably going to get more viewers if we actually uh, tell people that it's dinosaurs, right? Six cards in hand. We know one's a journey mage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just going to pass. I imagine we can do better. Don't place a comma. He will bounce it again. Tell me more. I mean, they will bounce it, but at the same time, we could actually play it. on Our lands would untap when they go to bounce it. We can kill their guy. So it does actually get us ahead I think we have one basic left in our deck so let's get it right now okay we did it I wonder if there should be one planes in the deck just because it does help you cast Jashath or Zakama off the top it doesn't help you cast, cast Zatalpa but it does help you cast those other gentlemen or ladies I don't know gender Champion of poops. That was my way of saying shits. But then I said it anyway, so. Not a draft. Unsubscribe. Frank, honestly, talk. Comp composting prevents fruit flies because you keep the compost bin in the backyard or front yard. Then you store your vegetable fruit waste in a small bucket in the freezer. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Well, it's not like I'm keeping my... Ah, maybe. I mean, yeah, okay. I like that. I found the article that someone sent me about how it changed how they viewed Olive Garden forever. Interesting. Oh, this looks great. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this one. Oh, this is this is recent, too. This is nice. So they have three cards in hand. I really thought it was going to be another two two men and a baby uh, meme, but it it apparently is not that. So I'm just going to magma spray this guy because I don't feel like giving you that much filtering. Look at all my lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ba boom boom. I'll target both of these. Because if you want to let this resolve, that's cool. I doubt you do. Wow. <gasps> it's all happening. Demon Lord builds and lock fill our hand. Registrar Alpha is actually very good against this deck because if you want to bounce. Oh, drew the two cards. Gas. Hey, Frank and Chad, just want you all to know I like each and every one of you for you just being you. Also, Frank, could you give them raisins a shake? <laughs> Awkwardly enough, I can. Although this time they did not go everywhere, which is really what I was trying to avoid. Also, it's like a big... It's like the last time. It's just one big brick of raisins. This is also... This guy is gas. That guy can't be countered. 
Oof. We are in good shape here. We are in... Are you going to merfolk, gentlemen? Merfolk man time? All right. Well, that's a thing, I guess. So this guy prevents this guy from having haste. That is unfortunate. Oh, he don't have haste no more. They could bounce our bells and lock. Mr. Rogers, this is an unreasonable amount of donations, buddy. I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Um, sure. I wish we had another red up. Oh, this is actually this is just fine because <laughs> we can just kill this guy in response, or we can just bounce it. Actually, bouncing it's probably better. That's better usage of mana. Plus, if we get if this resolves, we just get to kill something with the abrade if we want to. They could have spell pierce. I doubt it. And they conceded. All right, seems good. Seems pretty a okay. I don't actually want to bounce their things. I don't think life is super relevant. We have not drafted yet, no. Leave up Depth's Desire to bounce your own Bells and Lock if they go to kill it? How can they kill it if there's a blue deck? Also, I have to... How am I, It's hard to recast Bells and Lock in our deck. We only have one, one blue at the time. Um... How Frank lives his life. How do I live my life? What's the video? Wow, this is amazing. I'm really proud of that kid for that video. That is gasoline. Is this hand good? I, seems great with the sweltering, so I'll keep it just for old Swelty. And they went to six. They're basically dead. If you guys are still going when I get home, I'll see you then. Sarcastatron, have a good afternoon, buddy. I'll see you later. This is so much creativity. Boom, 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 boom. Nabin. Negan. All right, we're almost at, we're actually almost at just like horn swoggling all your things. That's cool. Eh. Eh. Obnoxious but acceptable. This deck is this deck is a blast. I am a fan. Oh, discarding a Syncopate and Academy Journey Mage. Interesting. Those ain't no small fries. So do people farm play points in the queues of their tier one decks or something? Um, I don't know. That seems like it would take a while. You put in twenty, and if you win, you get you net ten. It's not super great value. I will opt. I'll keep this on topped. Oh, that was a good draw. I think this is the most times I've heard Frank sing the theme outside of the first time he discovered it was themed two and a half men. It might be that might be correct, and I actually don't know why. Yo, peace out. I'll syncopate for four. And then I'll be like, oh, that's sad. Oh, they didn't do that. That's cool. I like how all my opponents sound like the monarch. I'll syncopate for four. The monarch.
Dang it, Registar Alpha. Get your life together. We should have probably cycled Sweltering Suns, but we didn't. That's life, man. Sometimes you don't cycle your sons. Those are my sons. Oh, a new song gets stuck in my head. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Merfolk Trickster in hand. That's one of your cards. I'll swoggle this guy. This guy seems immensely swoggleable. Wow, they couldn't have played that any faster. No! You can't have it. Don't swoggle my guy, bro. Yeah, if we hit a land drop, we could have actually resolved that. See what missing lands does to you in Magic the Gathering? It's really rough. No, I'm not getting Mr. Sandman stuck in my head. That's terrible. Wow, we don't need this just comes into play tapped too. Brutal. It I'm in doing it. I'm doing it right now. It's getting in my head. I dislike you. Yeah, that's a good that's a good one too. That's a good jam. Yep, take it. Oh, it could actually be, it could also, yeah, it could be like, it's like a Skeletor Monarch mix. So, he man, I am Skeletor. I'm just going to kill this guy because really, how much damage are we really going to take from this one? We know you have this dude in your hand. Okay. Sure. I saved my little buddy. They drew a card from it. What a time to be alive. Sixty nine Roadrunner, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Let's see if this just resolves. Wow, they could not have tapped that two mana faster. I have another syncopate. <laughs> sure, buddy. You got it. Is this the Four Non Blondes He Man video? 100% is, right? Of course it is. Of course it is. What's going on? Any tips on becoming a streamer or thoughts on the matter? Um, That's a good question. It's, it's, it's not easy. Um, just because. I feel like I'm advantaged just because I have, like, I have a built-in audience because of doing magic content for, like, a thousand years. But even then, like, you know, it's still a sizable commitment. Um, we're going to just do this. I don't think we're winning this game, unfortunately. Sure, Wizards Retort. Where are all my, where are my... Where are my treasures at? Yeah, like my friend Chris Verter, actually, he's one of the funniest guys I know. He's one of my best friends. And um, even he has a tough time building, like, a, a consistent streaming base. And he streams, like, a lot, like, regularly. And it doesn't make sense to me because I'm like, man, Chris, you're hilarious. Like, I love you to death. You're one of my favorite, my favorite dudes. And it's just... Oh, that was a really good draw. If we could draw a fifth land here, that'd be great. I think we need one more land in the deck. Yeah, this is rough. I feel like this game was very, very close, but... They have no cards in hand, though? Can I just bounce both of these and then just replay? I just go bounce, bounce. If we hit a land, we go bounce, bounce, and then Indomitable Creativity. That's not terrible if they don't actually have anything. Of course, we didn't draw a land. Ugh, bottom. Alright, we got one more shot to hit a land here. Oh, boy. Hey, we did it. Good for us, right? Right. Oh, we also know they have Trickster in hand. 
So they're just going to play Trickster EOT, but then we can bounce Na Naru from attacking. Uh, yeah, this is rough. If they have any counterspell, we're just dead. Oh, they didn't. Okay, well, that's good. It's a good start. Sure. Yep, we'll take three. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is actually one. We're so close to just playing this, but also like, <sighs> can we get anything? One, two, three. We indomitable creativity. We we depths of desire bounce something. We have three mana and two clues, which doesn't let us do anything. Plus, whatever we get, they tap. So, like, if it's a Talpa, it's not good. This being in their hand is pretty rough. Am I saying clues? I'm probably just saying clues. It could also be Bells and Lock, and we just hit to... Uh... Are there any hexproof creatures in standard that we want to get? Hexproof lifelinkers? <laughs> That's really where you want to be, I think. Hmm. What are the odds they have like an artifact? What if they hit like a panharmonicon? That doesn't do anything, right? What is my thought on the standard meta? Um, outside of... That's rough. Outside of the PT, it's not great. Or it's it's good, rather. Yeah, we're just going to scoop here. All right, this match was closer than I, I thought. Um, I don't like Beneath the Sands. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's necessary either. I think these all do the same while reacting with the board. Like, Hornswoggle is basically a Beneath the Sands that gets you to, like, Spell Swindle, which is what you want. Um, I'm also not a big sensor fan. What was the card we were going to... Karn. We're going to take out the Chandras and bring in Karns. Three Karns seems fantastic here. And we can take out the Pirate's Prize because of that. Because Karn actually just makes his own construct. It, it gives us an artifact to hit. Which is just gas. So, one more land. We can't put Sailor of Means in here because then you hit it with the Indomitable uh, Creativity. You can't, put, you can't put creatures or artifacts in the deck or else they get hit. Same with Treasure Map. All of the cards you're mentioning get hit with Indomitable Creativity. Uh, none of these Garns are from drafting. These are all borrowed Karns. I own zero Karns in my collection, just so you guys know. Um, Hinterland Harbors and Sulphur Falls both come into play untapped from a forest. I'm going to add one more. F Actually, our green is getting real minimal. I, we want one more mountain, because all of these come into play. Uh, Sulphur Falls and Rupan Crags all come into play untapped or the mountain. Yeah, that seems good. I also don't like Evolving Wilds. There's no reason to shuffle our deck. And we have enough lands that it's like... Shouldn't really matter. Rolling Thunder? Is that a... Is that in... I don't, is that a... Is that a card in standard? I'm pretty sure Rolling Thunder is not standard legal. That is... That has not been legal since... Oath of... Since Battle for Zendikar, my friend. Karn's Temporal Sundering? Um, <sighs> 
This is 56 cards. We're bringing two lands because we took out the... Uh, it might just be Rootbound Crags, to be honest. Why play green? Just play other good bombs. Um, green gives us a lot of sideboard cards like Naturalize, a bunch of life gain cards. I mean, we want bombs like this. We can also just cast Registar Alpha. But I do see what you're saying. Like, there, there might not be a point to play the green. I really like the, the progression of this deck, though. I almost like negate in the main deck better. But I like it, I like it a lot better than Sensor for one thing. But it gives us game against uh, certain decks that we might have a problem with. I think this is a sweet configuration. So I'm going to actually put in the two lands and then we're going to try it like this. The white dino is Zatalpa. It's right here. Oh, Waking Suns Avatar. The problem with Waking Suns is that uh, we it doesn't trigger. So let's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blue sources. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 red sources. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 green sources. So you probably want another blue source. I think an island, another island is just fine. And, and another rootbound crag is actually probably just fine. We have four, five, six, seven, seven lands that come into play. Um, I mentioned adding one planes, but that was also because we had evolving wilds. If we take the evolving wilds out, I think we can take those out. And I think it's actually better for the deck to just streamline the mana base a little bit. All right, let's try this again. I like the way this looks though. Hey, look, we made it to 20 play points. Um, this is also modern, isn't it? That's not where we want to be. All right. Well, that's not the hand we want, especially after adding a land. Oh, this hand's great, though. I will keep that on top. An island. Dominaria Island, no less. What made me want to start streaming? Um, I, I just like entertaining. I like playing magic and I like entertaining people. I'm going to put that on top. That is a keeper. Red land. Oh, the, the old double spell swindle. Could be bad if we don't hit those lands, but... Like, I knew... I had a niche already, right? Like, I was making magic content for years. And, um... So I had an audience. I knew people enjoyed my content. I knew, uh... I knew what I was doing right in that content. Okay, well... Add a land, still can't hit the fourth land drop. Yet. Yet. We're, we could be presumptuous here. So we ended up... Um, this doesn't appear to be dinosaurs. Well, it, you might be wrong. How's that feel? Let me know how it feels to be wrong on the internet. I'm curious. Alright, well. At least someone's hitting all their land drops. Despite the fact that they are mono islands. Mono dominaria islands. What is happening right now? What? That's pretty good for us. Put them in the hand. Don't syncopate me, bro. Sure. <laughs> cool dive down. All right. Well, we had a good run, ladies and gentlemen. That is a handsome lizard. Hey, comes into play tapped. Cool beans.
Uh, I play limited most of the time. Most most days I'm usually drafting, uh, especially especially when cube is up. But I mean, if you guys follow me on YouTube, you can see that I have like 45 Dominaria drafts up. So uh, there's definitely no question as to what the format I'm. This this dude is ridiculous, right? Like you play this guy on turn six, and then you're just golden. I guess they're just like, hey, we went on board, so might as well keep this up. If we had one more land, we can keep negate up and then kill this guy and then survive and not die. But unfortunately, we missed three land drops. So, cool story. All right, let's go to the next game where we might not die, but might still die. Fingers crossed. I think Sweltering Suns is actually probably pretty good in this in this matchup. Because they have a bunch of uh, two toughness gentlemen. Actually, I brought in Disallow. I meant to bring in Soldiering Sons. How many raisins do you think you can eat in one sitting? How many, how many could I eat or how many should I eat? I could probably finish this whole thing in one sitting, but I don't think that's healthy or pleasant. Sand's rough. Sand's also rough. God, we... we we changed the deck. We didn't change any of the casting costs. Like, we, tra we traded Karns. We, we added Karns, but we took out other four mana spells. Uh, we took out Beneath the Sands, but we added more three mana spells. We also added another land. So I'm actually surprised that these hands are so bad. Uh, I don't like Sun's Main because we have three Karns. So... I actually have some dry, some some uh, some freeze dried, not freeze dried, but like uh, dried prunes, which is weird. When you say prune, prune is sounds disgusting, right? You're like a prune, oh, but then a prune is just a plum, and plums are delicious and wonderful. So, yeah, I bought a bunch of dried fruit yesterday. I also have dried pineapple over here for streaming things. So. Get out of my face. Dried mango is the best, but prunes and raisins are the cheapest. Give me a land. It's not a land. Come on. Really? I have two spells that... It's so frustrating. Like, we literally just go struggle this guy and he dies, but now they can keep up infinite counter spells. Cool. I guess we can go E of T struggle. I don't know. I also like dried fruit that isn't caked in sugar, which is why I'm like, oh, raisins, no sugar added. Cool. Huge fan. Raisins are horrible. This is not a fact in any way. Just my opinion. You're an awesome drafter. <laughs> oh, I like that little throwback to the, uh, to the, to the, to the opinion. Um, Opinion sandwich. Oh, I'm going to dive down. No? Sure. Raisins are shriveled up cat toes. Huh. Yeah, this deck actually is super annoying. I'm actually not a fan of this deck, to be quite honest with you. You like that I'm being honest with you guys? Honesty stream. I'm just going to pass here, and we're going to hope to spell swindle something, or at least horn swoggle something. I have a doubt. Uh, you can see the updated deck list when we go in between, because there's no way for me to efficiently... In the middle of a match, there's no real way to efficiently export the deck list and upload it or show you guys while I'm trying to play. Yep, no blocks. So we're dead on board. So they're just like, oh, cool. I'll just protect this one Tempest Gin that attacks for a thousand. This plays around Cinco Paint. If we draw a land, we can also Indomitable for two. 
Of course we didn't. Why would we? And we can still do it for two. We can just target theirs and try to hit a significantly less threatening guy. Which I think we're going to have to do. Alright, we're going to target the one on the bottom. Actually, we'll just make the mana first. Add a red. Dominable this and this. One, two, three, four. I'm going to have a sad. I know it. Sure. Ah, wonderful. Why don't you just counter the... I don't understand. Anyway. Was it really going to change anything after that? I don't think so. So we literally just lost to one card. Like, they literally just played Tempest Gin, and we're like, nope, cool, can't beat that. We also didn't hit our land drops that game, which is kind of frustrating. Um... Everything else seems fine. All right, we're out of out of play points again. Back at round and round we go. Let's try this again. Whoa! Fantastic. Let's play first. What a perfect, what a perfect moment. We get to actually play uh, Seth himself. Wonderful. I mean, it's hard because you're playing red, green, and blue. So the targeted removal, you can't, it's hard to play, um, it's hard to play better removal, like, because you're not going to get something that deals four. You know what I mean? This is pretty sweet. This is awesome because this is going to be our fifth match. So uh, we get to play against Seth himself in the fifth match. Do I just kill this thing? Let's find out. Let's go to the videotape. Probably, we're probably just going to opt here, I think. Actually, we have a land. We can keep up Depths of Desire. Oh, the whiff. I don't think I care about the crane is really where I'm at right now. Um, Yeah, I think we just want all lands here. We do want an island, or a blue source, rather. But actually, that should find us one. Hmm. <laughs> Tell him chat says hi. <laughs> <laughs> good times, good times. Yeah, we can take one. You ever wish your your depths of desire was a horn swoggle instead? Not like that's not a creature, so it doesn't really matter, but what are we gonna be doing? We're gonna be probably Probably pillaging this turn, unless we draw a Karn, in which case we'll probably just play the Karn, but we did not draw a Karn. One, two, three, four. I think we just actually pitch this forest. Registrar Alpha is castable, and it's proven that we've can indomitable creativity um and target the the, the dinosaur for some good value. Ask, ask all of if he knows what clean breaks are. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to do that, but I, uh... Hey, buddy, you had a real cl clean break there. One, two, three, four, five, six... I feel like we can just pass here and feel good about our choice. Bells and Lock is castable, that is true. Was it greedy to discard the forest? Maybe. Is it... Is it okay that we did? Probably. How often would you say ghosting becomes an issue in streaming? Not not frequently. Oh, this is going to be good. That's just fine. One, two, three, four, five. Add three. Yes, please. This will do. Next turn, we're going to go ham. I'm really looking for one land. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can do it for five and hit two. If we hit a land, it'd be better. I think we just go for two here.
they should be pretty sizable, right? So we can go bottom, bottom. Okay. We got one, two, three, four, five. And then we still get to keep one up in case they have syncopate. So that's pretty cool. This is pretty, this ends up pretty good. This is like one of those perfect moments where you're playing against Seth and like, you guys are both known for, for being like, for playing the, the cool brews and maybe he's recording it. Ixalan's binding. I'm going to draw a card because that's what you do. Oh, if we had one more land, just negate the binding. Are you going to get rid of my hasty boy? Oh, you're going to get rid of that hasty boy. That is a hasty boy. All right. They're all hasty boys. And you're going to seal this guy away? I'm pretty sure we're exiling this guy. Oh, you're targeting everyone but the Nezahal. Okay, that's fair. I'm just going to play this Registrar Alpha. And that should do a good job. One, two, three, four, five. What up, Reggie? And then they have to block here, which is fine. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we can't do that. I forgot about the stupid Ixalan's binding. That's fair. I always forget about that because it, it comes up very rarely, actually. Um, Do we just bounce this guy attack for seven? That seems good. Let's do that. And we get to keep up Negate and Horn Swoggle, so. In before 10 people in the chat say you can't cast it. Good times, good times. Cloud Blazer. Get Swoggled. Got him. Give me that swoggle, boy. What does that mean? I don't know. All right, so what do we see? We saw Aether Sphere Harvester. We saw a bunch of dirtily creatures. Um, I'm going to take Naturalizes in. I can't imagine that's not correct. Also, guys, I'm sh I shaved. I'm, I'm sure you guys are very proud. I think these can probably go. You can't cast it. This isn't a draft. This isn't dinos. Unsubscribe. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't think they're playing any kind of blue-white deck that uh, Immortal... I don't think they're like... I don't think Seth is loading up on Teferis or anything, so... Seth doesn't like dried fruit. He's an olive. What if Snap is like, damn, this is a good brew. Mike, I, that's what I, I assume he's probably saying it at some point. That's that's my guess. Um, I like a braids. I think Depths is probably pretty bad here just because we don't want to be bouncing their things. Um, probably bring in a negate for that. And I think that's probably fine. Like, you don't really want to be bouncing cloud shifters. This hand seems good. Hmm. Opt is funny because it's like the one card you never want to counter, but it's also it's pretty good. Oh, bottom. Whew. Thank goodness we only drew the seven drop dinosaur instead. Okay, three dinosaurs in a row. Seems good. Literally just Shath into Nezahal into uh, Registar Alpha. If you guys were curious how you lose a game like this, that's how you do it. Why would Immortal Sun be good? I don't know why you guys are saying that. Like, we just draw two cards, but it costs six mana. Um, they don't. We haven't seen any Planeswalkers. This doesn't look like a Planeswalker brew.
Speaking of Tetra, you just found the emotes? That's crazy. That was a good draw. We can also just play it here. And next time we can Karn. So hopefully they play something irrelevant. Uh, we're just playing in two mans, Cali's Potato. Uh, we are currently 2-2 two, two or 1-1, one, 1-3. One, one, we're not, we're not, our record's not great, but we've been having a blast, so... Isn't that what magic's all about? The wizard deck was real close. I felt like the wizard deck we should have won. We just didn't draw very good lands that game. Oh, are you just going to bring back a Sun Scourge champion? That's pretty good. Another one of these guys. All right. Okay. Actually, maybe Struggle to Survive is good because we can go struggle to struggle one of these guys and then, like, shuffle them all back in. Maybe it's better than I expected. Yeah, but we have our own Karns, so, like, I don't want to take out my Karns just to shut down theirs with that one Immortal Sun. Then they just end up winning because they have uh, more Karns to our Immortal Suns. What else did you get? Oh, an island. You gave me the good island? Interesting choice. Why would you give me this over this? Curiouser and curiouser. Alright, Sweltering Suns might come in now. Harbor seems good. Let's add a green and a red. Like we're literally adding mono blue to cast this guy. We added like blue, blue, red. And then when we added the green, we added blue, blue. And it's just, we're not going to attack because we want to block both of these guys. So then our Karn survives. Oh, Panharmonicon. Okay. I'm excited. This is exciting. We do have Naturalize and Negate, which is nice. Oh, Indomitable Creativity or Negate? Which do you give us? Because we can actually Indomitable here. Ooh. And target our own guys, which is just fine. But they could have negate up, so I think we just wait a turn. I'm going to naturalize this boy. And then I'm going to see if you have a counter spell. Does not look as though you do. We'll play this. Karn is likely dead. So... How to use the Mike B gif? It's only for cheers, yeah. That's the that's the bit slash cheer. Uh, actually, maybe we just keep Karn alive and use this. And if you want to counter it, that's fine. I don't care about you gaining life. Because if you want to tap out... That's... That's a thing. What was the bunnies then? Uh, you can actually add your own gif when you... Wow, we've drawn everything that we don't want to draw. One, two, three, four, five. Target, target. And then we still have negate up if we want it. So if we hit the other Registar Alpha, that's pretty good. We can also Karn go to six. It'll take two... It's pretty okay, actually. Uh, 
Uh, freshly brewed is basically on indefinite hiatus. We just don't have the time. One, two, three, four, five, six. We also just play Nezahal here, which is actually pretty good, if you guys didn't know. Oh my god, do I really not hate Mending of Dominaria as much as I should? The card goes to your hand, though. It doesn't go in, The creatures go into your hand, not into play, right? Also, Nezahal gains Trample? Or Haste, rather? Seems good. I like this. I hope he actually activates this because it gives us the freedom to do whatever we want next turn. And I think we get Jashath and Zatalpa. We have three creatures left in our deck, I think. Zatath, Z Z Zatalpa, Shatath, and uh, Nezasar Alpha. Um... I think we have to do this. We can easily exile these two because they're not getting cast anytime soon. Um, and Karn's pretty easy to exile as well. So, What up, Billy? Are you saying words are gargling hot soup? I am doing one of those. That is correct. So the answer is yes. I like no attacks because they're like, well, we might just die here. I'm a fan of that. It's pretty okay. I'm going to actually get rid of these two. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. I hope you have a counter spell. Oh, we get to draw a card now. Let's draw. So we're hoping for like Registar Alpha and <laughs> this is pretty good. We're going to attack with the dinosaur because if they block here, that's great because it doesn't kill it. So you're not going to block here. They are going to just chump block here, presumably, because he doesn't have... Oh, he does have trample. Three, four, five, six, seven. So this is actually nice, because we can actually keep the angel alive. Sure. Pass. So first strike is done. Regular damage. Uh, two here and three there. Yeah, I don't want your angel to come back for obvious reasons, so. They have one card in hand? That's pretty good. Mr. Rogers, thank you so much for the bits uh, as well. Any value in leaving both alive? Just sign all damage to the Cloud Blazer? Um, no, because I want the, I don't care if they tap out for this guy. Maybe, though. Actually, yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe it's just better, but... Um, they already have one in the graveyard, so having two in the graveyard doesn't really do much. I think after the first one, you're just like, okay, spend two turns to do that. That's fine. Yeah, this is actually fine. Because we can actually double abrade this guy and swing for lethal. I think that's game. Because even if they block, they can't block here, so they actually just take eight in the air if we kill this guy. But they do have counterspell mana now, so. This is also a Naga Wizard, which is kind of cool. That's actually great for us because the trample still the trample's great. Uh so we just win here, I think. Uh 
this was pretty sweet. Whoa, we got the quick concede. Didn't even get the GGs. Either way, that was pretty sweet. So yeah, I like the configuration of this deck right now. Uh, I think the Pillage is great for discarding excess guys like this. I also think Karn is great because he just makes you a 1-1. One -one. Um, struggle and to survive is just fine. It's a, it's a reasonable removal spell considering we have a bunch of lands in play. And the survive is nice because it lets us shuffle in guys that we've discarded. It also gets rid of things for Torrential Gear Hulk. It's also an instant. It's a sorcery. Okay, my mistake. Um, but it does shuffle in things like... Um, Exert creature, exalted creatures, uh, embalm creatures, stuff like that. So, you know, that's a cool inclusion. I like the negates better than sensor because sensor is just like it's cute if you do something, but um, if you don't, it's just a cycle. And we have four ops already, so I don't think we need that. I think we'd rather have more things that are actively good rather than passively good. If that makes sense. Um, either way, this deck was super fun to play. RPG Badger, thank you so much for the opportunity. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to have your decks critiqued by me, uh, which I thoroughly enjoy. Um, shoot me an email. It, my The information to have that done is either in my Twitch profile or in the YouTube description below, so be sure to check that out. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. So uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll catch you later.